investigation, investigative agencies time to complete the analysis, the counting, and to account for each and every child. There are, three, there are 311 people who are including school. So far, 27 are in hospital. 37 are with parents. One has passed on in hospital. And indeed, 86, their whereabouts are known. We still have 70 kids that are unaccounted. But that does not mean that they are perished or they are injured. The word is that they are uncounted for. We are praying and hoping for the best. And this is where I need to make an appeal. When this incident happened, some parents came here and took away their children, and they have not filed this report. I am appealing to each and every parent who took their child from here to report the same. We'll give a number that is here by the International Red Cross and the school so that we know where that child is. There are still some other children that were held by the neighbors and are with the neighbors around this community. And we really want to thank this community around here. Again, we are asking community members who have given comfort to these children to report the same. That will help us to account for each and every child. It's only after that that the government and the investigative agencies can be able to give a proper account. I have seen on social media all the manner of stories people try to explain what happened. I want to plead with the people of Kenya to have empathy for the players. I want to thank the Governor of Nyeri, the Taipa and the County Government of Nyeri for the work that they have done since early in the morning and for according our DCI officers all the necessary facilities to carry on with the investigations to be able to deal with the dead bodies agreeing to receive the injured children in hospitals belonging to the county. I want to thank our acting regional commissioner and his team and all officers of the National Government Administration, the National Police Service and no other security agencies for the work that they have done here. I want to thank the International uh, Red Cross for the work that they have done. As we speak, we have specialized teams here from the Directorate of Criminal Investigations. We have pathologists. We have people from homicide. We have people from the forensic uh, department. And all this, we have the government chemist. And all those teams are working here for now. And that is where we are asking to be given time. There will be a lot of work of collecting samples for DNA to be able to match the bodies with the parents. And we are calling upon everybody to cooperate. So we are asking the media, we are asking the people of Kenya to allow our officers from the DCI who are very competent, who are very professional to be given time. The scene is still cordoned and they need a lot of time so that they can be able to collect the body parts and the government chemists, they can be able to check what could have happened. There is a lot of work harvested. The scene is very gory and a lot of work is going on. So we are asking for patience in terms of information. And we are asking people not to give numbers of dead people, of injured people, because those numbers are not verified.
and we don't want to cause alarm. I want to commit that President William Ruto has ordered expeditious investigations and that is ongoing on and when the report is ready, as a government we shall make the report public so that we can also find out what happened, what caused the fire, what could have gone wrong. But I would want at this situation not to have any guesswork, not to impute any improper motive. We just let the investigation agencies to do their work. The government will assist the parents in every possible way to bury the dead. We'll assist in terms of hospital management, in terms of hospital bills. The government, the president has committed, and that is the message that I bring from him, to help these families. So I want to say in this very difficult time, as I said, condolences on behalf of the president, to the bereaved families and to the people of Kenya, I want to ask for patience so that the families can have peace. We are just about to begin a very difficult exercise to take the parents to the scene so that they can begin the process of closure. We have just met the parents. We have sung with them, we have prayed together and the Ministry of Health, the State Department of Public Health has assembled a team of psychologists to give support, counselors to give support. So this is an ongoing exercise that will take a number of days and we want to ask for patience from everybody concerned so that we give the right information and as I have committed once the investigations are concluded we'll make them public so that everybody is aware. We have um, uh, a number by Red Cross Double one, double nine. Double one, double nine is where parents who are having children should give that information. Double one, double nine. Neighbors and community, those who are having children whom you give refuge, whom you give comfort, and we want to thank you. Please get in touch with the Red Cross at double one, double nine, one, one, nine, nine. Please give that information. And the media, I appeal to you to publish, uh, to publish this information. The way I have explained that we need parents who came for their children to give a report so that we account for them. Neighbors and the community who give our children refuge should communicate through this number, number one, number nine so that those children can be accounted for and then we can know exactly where we stand. I think I've covered everything. I don't think you want to have any questions, do you? The issues of safety in schools continues to be a very emotive matter and again sadly as it is this is another awakening call to us especially our education officers who are supposed to annually make inspections to see the safety of the children the facilities that are there again after the report is concluded it will inform our next course of action as a government but I want to take this opportunity to appeal to our education, to our county directors of education, the sub-county directors of education, to continuously inspect all schools, including private ones, just to make sure that what we have agreed on in matter safety has been done. I think that will be a continuous process.